All right, all right. It's that time again, isn't it? Where I do a video so you can get a proper perspective of what is going on on the ground, so to speak, versus the hyperbolic information warfare campaigns that are being broadcasted all over the world by the conglomerate of states and intelligence agencies who run the program and who in turn also use the social and political persecution of me to run this global social engineering and intelligence operation with. So yesterday on the 7th of October 2022, I was supposed to have been lured into a physical altercation with the intention for me to get seriously bodily harmed and or arrested. And uh, under the pretext of me meeting up in Olbor to buy a power tool, which uh, I had arranged on the 6th beforehand, so the Danish intelligence agency, PET and the state, were surveilling my interactions on Facebook and then using that as a pretext to try to coerce uh, someone to meet up at the address where I was supposed to meet either with the seller themselves or someone was just supposed to meet at the place where I was supposed to meet the person selling the power tools. This is unbeknownst to me, but it is very clear that I was supposed to have uh, gotten into a physical altercation which was being coerced and staged by the Danish intelligence agency using the program synthetic telepathy communication system uh, to, to conduct and to run uh, this operation with and as well as running the operation the Danish state and intelligence agency were broadcasting to the entire Danish population at least uh, that this uh, that this was going to happen and they were making uh, they were using the the event upcoming uh, active measure as propaganda content to broadcast to the entire population but uh, as I was about to arrive on the address, uh, only a minute, a minute or two before I actually was on the address in Olbor, the person that I was supposed to meet to buy the power tool uh, suddenly uh, uh, said they couldn't meet me until half past five uh, and it was like two minutes to four o'clock as arranged. I was supposed to meet at four and now two minute, only two minutes before I was supposed to meet them, they changed the, the, the time to half past five uh, so obviously uh, I knew something was wrong and I immediately wrote back that I was here now at the door and uh, and uh, yeah so at the end of the day the person really didn't uh, respond uh, other than saying that he was at another address and as soon as I asked if he had the power tool with him at this other address well he didn't reply and when I got home and scrolled down Facebook well I could kind of uh, Got, I got wind of what was uh, supposed to have happened and that was uh, an active measure that was supposed to have ended in a physical altercation as I say with the intention for me to get seriously hurt and, uh, and arrested or even both. Um, and as I have said many times before when it relates to these uh, life changing things, I'm not, I mean not just my life that could be changed in, in any given event like this but also the program's life, the, the kind of trajectory where the program is going, what, what plans these state arbiters have for this situation could be, uh, could be permanently altered by uh, a physical altercation that ends up in a, in a proper case where somebody has gotten seriously hurt and it, and it comes out that the, the state has staged this and they're using synthetic telepathy communication system to conduct this and, and they are doing it to me, uh, surveilling me and using a, no, a normal interaction between uh, true two civilians, a, a purchase of a second hand power tool, using that as, a, as the pretext, you know, it, it is it's uh, really uh, so so illegal and so extrajudicial uh, that uh, that the, the case would just uh, it would really change the the, uh, the the look the outlook of the program's uh, uh, continuation if you know what i mean so as i have said many times before they call off these uh, life changing events that they set in motion illegally just about as they are just before they are about to happen because they they will just uh, they would rather have the situation continue status quo continue and just create the appearance of them doing these illegal and extrajudicial things against me so they are normalizing people to these things 
uh, could happen at any time in the future. And that, that's the same way they are normalizing uh, having people try to run me off the road on the street when I'm on my motorbike taking a turn and have a big truck turn over into my lane uh, so that I may hit the truck and using the, again using the program's communication system and the, and the GPS tracking on me to tell people where I am at a given time and telling them to, to turn a bit over into my road or, or, or to occupy the entire, op uh, the entire lane these things they are, they are actually doing and they have actually tried to run me off the road several times uh, but as it relates to these physical altercations especially as it relates to fights they haven't happened as of yet and that's uh, and if we're talking professionals like the intelligence agencies if they really wanted to get rid of me to cause me seriously bodily harm or have me killed they wouldn't be announcing it beforehand and they wouldn't be doing it in a place where there's lots of people and cameras. No, they will be doing it in a place where it's completely remote and they were doing it and they would be, do, be doing it when you least expect that you get ambushed. The same if it's proper criminal elements, uh, professionals in that regard too. They wouldn't be announcing it, they wouldn't be doing it in public places. It just happens when you least expect it and they will do or try to do what they set out to do and it wouldn't be called off like this as the intelligence agencies continuously do in these pre-announced uh, active measures that they are using uh, as propaganda content as well as staging these uh, active measures that are getting called off. So uh, this is what is going on uh, from the ground at least and of course they are continuous, continuing their uh, never-ending uh, demonization and ridiculing of media literally accusing me of every despicable thing known to man under the sun especially as it relates to sex crimes and when it's not these things then they are always uh, trying to ridicule and discredit me by uh, saying uh, or proclaiming that I'm doing all kinds of uh, uh, salacious perverted sex stuff uh, and I don't know precisely what they are saying I just know if there is any merit to it at all, it's ancient history and they are literally just scraping the barrel uh, and just throwing everything and the kitchen sink at me and hoping it sticks just to have people generally, generally believe uh, what is being proclaimed about me, Stephen Bell, and or, or being so confused by all the, uh, bought by all the accusations that nobody really knows what to think. And these are obviously what is uh, the purpose behind these uh, information warfare campaigns and psyops that are being waged on the people as well as me, Stephen Bell.